My name is Patricia James and I'm 81 years old. I was born in Pittsburgh and I've lived here my, all my life. I met my husband while I was in high school and we married in 1957, started the family in 1960 and we are now 10 grandchildren and oh, 12 great-grandchildren. My husband's name was Don. He was from Carrick. He was uh, a fantastic man. He, um, he was very active in community. He coached Little League. He uh, was a volunteer fireman. He went through that until he became chief and he retired in, I think it was 1990, and he would do anything for anybody. He just loved people. He was a people's person. <laughs> he was a good guy, you know. And we were married for 60 years, and uh, I lost him September of uh, 2017, and that's what I say, I went. This is the first time I've been on my own. We had our ups and downs, but at the end, we did everything together. And uh, I sometimes just get that I don't know what to do, and I talk to him, and I blame everything on him, and then it, it dawns on me, it's not his fault. But he was so active until almost up to the day he went into the hospital. And he was only in there like three weeks. I couldn't believe that it went so fast. But uh, you can't feel sorry for yourself. You just have to go with life and take what it gives you. On Christmas Day, it was icy outside and I hadn't realized it. And I went out and stepped on my wooden back porch, which was a sheet of ice. And I went down outside and I started yelling for help. But I didn't have help because my family was enjoying their Christmas morning, which they should have been, but I was screaming and it couldn't be heard. So I knew it was up to me to somehow get next door. And I finally took off my shoes and walked. And then when I got over to my granddaughter and her husband, then they realized. My grandson had opened the door and seen me and said I was bleeding and um, panicked the family, of course, but uh, we got an ambulance and I went to the hospital and it had a good outcome. Everything was fine. Had they not been home, it would have been a catastrophe. My granddaughter uh, got a new system for me and I have it connected to emergency and I feel very safe and very secure with it. Constant Companion allows me to be better connected and protect it. It just gives you the sense of security that basically you're never alone. And in the places that I most would not want to have an accident or be alone would be my basement, my bathroom, and uh, I feel very safe and secure with the Alexa system. I know that my voice is loud and she will hear me at in any room. I have her in five different places. I'm connected now to all my children through Alexa. If for some reason I'm, you know, I don't need an emergency uh, help, I can just call one of my children and they'll, they'll be right there. And I know that that's a good feeling to know that that's there. It's true. You know that there's always a way to get help. I think everyone should have them in the house. Maybe you start out, uh, which I know a lot of people did when they first came out, 
was to listen to music and ask trivial questions and such. But now, I think it's uh, a bigger thing and all homes should have them. I truly believe that. I would absolutely recommend Constant Companion for anyone, whether you're the elderly or the young. You deserve to have that peace of mind. Thank you.